What is an IUD? An IUD is short for intrauterine device. An IUD is a form of contraception that may also be prescribed for off-label use. There are two common types, the copper IUD and the levonorgestrel releasing IUD, for short, LNG. The levonorgestrel is also known as the LNG IUD or intrauterine device. They resemble each other but work in completely different ways. So who can use an IUD? Before discussing how these two devices actually work, if you have any of the following conditions, be sure to ask your primary care provider for contraceptive alternatives. Women that should avoid intrauterine devices includes women who have current pelvic inflammatory disease, women with an active sexual transmitted infection, such as chlamydia or gonorrhea, women with pelvic tuberculosis, those experiencing postpartum sepsis, women experiencing unexplained vaginal bleeding, women with a distorted uterine cavity, women awaiting treatment for cervical cancer, endometrial cancer, gestational trophoblastic disease, and lastly, women who prefer the LNG or the hormonal IUD should not use this device if they have current and past breast disease or cancer within the last five years. Reason being, levonorgestrel is a hormonal contraceptive and affects breast tissue. So how do they work? The copper IUD, as the name implies, is made up of a metal called copper. It is T-shaped and currently the most commonly used IUD worldwide. The copper IUD works like a spermicide. It activates a local inflammatory process inside the uterus. The body treats the device as a foreign object. This may sound scary, but if there are no contraindications to its use, the copper IUD is very effective in preventing unwanted pregnancy. Then there is the LNG, the levonorgestrel IUD, it's similarly shaped. However, this device is hormonal as it releases a small daily dose of levonorgestrel, which is a form of progesterone. The LNG device works by creating an environment that suppresses ovulation. It impairs sperm penetration by thickening cervical mucus. How long does an IUD last? The copper device is currently approved to be effective for 10 years. The LNG device, it's currently approved to be effective three to five years, depending on its brand. Some of the pros. Unlike the LNG IUD, the copper IUD has no added hormones and women experience less side effects of the progestin use. The copper IUD are also highly effective with a failure rate of 0.1 to 2.2 of 100. That means for every 100 women, 0.1 to 2.2% of women will become pregnant per year with this method. As for the LNG device, one major pro is that with prolonged use, many women report decreased number of bleeding days while some women report no periods after a couple of years. Some women report a reduction in endometriosis associated pain and a decrease in pain associated with menstrual periods. The downside of copper is that women report heavier and prolonged bleeding along with lower abdominal cramping. Other side effects of hormonal IUD levonorgestrel includes breast tenderness, headaches, nausea, acne, oilier skin, and mood changes. As previously mentioned, women with pre-existing sexually transmitted infections should not have an IUD inserted as it increased the risk for PID, pelvic inflammatory disease. This can later lead to infertility, especially when infections go untreated. 
Make sure to let your practitioner know if you have experienced any recent vaginal infection. When can you get the IUD inserted? An IUD can be inserted at any time during the menstrual cycle. However, most practitioners will wait to insert the device during your menses to ensure that the woman is not currently pregnant. An IUD can also be safely inserted immediately after delivery or in the postpartum period. In fact, if you are considering contraceptive use after your delivery, it may be a great idea to plan an IUD insertion before discharge. Reason being, most women begin to ovulate four to six weeks after giving birth. Many women do not return to the follow-up appointment before the four to six week period and may be at an increased risk of repeat pregnancy. If you are wanting to wait to become pregnant, this may be a great option for you. So if IUDs are so effective, why do women discontinue their use? For starters, some women experience unintended expulsions of the IUD. Women who have never been pregnant or only pregnant once report higher rates of expulsion. This is where the IUD comes out without intention. Other top reasons for discontinuation are complaints of bleeding and or pain. When women know what to expect with IUDs, especially regarding bleeding patterns, they are less likely to discontinue use. In summary, the procedure takes approximately 10 minutes or less. Practitioners are able to apply local anesthetics to help with pain during the procedure. With the use of an LNG IUD, the hormonal use, expect to have breakthrough bleeding in the first one to three months after insertion. However, bleeding should become lighter and may even experience amenorrhea or no periods at all. Not all women are eligible to use an IUD. If you are considering an IUD for contraceptive or relief of menstrual related symptoms, then be sure to schedule a visit with your primary care practitioner or local health department.